Hello YouTube. All right, I'm going to show you today uh, some stuff I've been working on. If anybody that knows me knows I love astronomy. Been doing a lot of astronomy for many years now, but uh, finally got to a point where I could uh, kind of construct a little bit more of uh, sort of sitting outside in the cold or in the heat with the scopes at night and fighting mosquitoes. I decided to go ahead and build a warm room off uh, my third car garage here, leaving just enough room. Uh, for it to still serve as a garage. Um, but let me go ahead and give you a little tour here and then I'll show you the new uh, outdoor uh, observatory I've been working on. So this is the room here. I don't have my uh, trim up. There's still a lot of work I got to do in here. But as you can see, uh, it's got a couple of monitors set up with the computer equipment. It's climate controlled with air conditioning, heating, uh, carpet and uh, a little TV and uh, a couple of pictures over here a little office set up a lot of things I need to shred but uh, this will serve as uh, um, all sky camera monitor uh, once I get that set up my daughter made me uh, some of my astrophotography pictures for Father's Day made me uh, a little collage there need to get that hung up but uh, and of course this place needs to be cleaned up straightened up um, all the equipment that you have in your cases, all my astronomical cameras, that's a bit of a mess in the corner. But uh, it's coming along and uh, we're getting there. So let me go ahead and you know, take you outside, show you what I got going on out there. And I uh, had all this cement poured uh, about a year ago and been working on it ever since. And uh, buried my data cables coming out through here. And uh, they go all the way out 65 foot now to the observatory, which is a rollaway shed that I built and uh, put in some rock here. I wish I'd have put in a little better of that uh, material to keep uh, some of the grass from growing in, but maybe over time that will uh, get to a point where that won't be a problem. So, anyway, so here's the observatory. Got a little camera up there to kind of keep an eye on things. And uh, I got a all sky camera mounted if I can get to it uh, right up there on the roof there um, so I've uh, been working on this and uh, let me show you what I came up with here and unlock this here and as you can see in the inside let me uh, open this other door up here I don't have the scopes covered quite yet um, with the uh, I've got a, a telegizmo cover there, but um, and of course uh, the uh, tripod for the CGXL. So let's start with that. Just got a, a CGXL mount and uh, put it on a pier plate on a 10-inch concrete pier. And as you can see, I've got a lot of cable management I still need to work on before I'm ready to uh, do any kind of first light. Uh, but um, we'll get that all set up and then. Uh, on the scopes, I got a uh, Stellar View, uh, the new Stellar View SVQ100. Uh, just got that in uh, a couple days ago, and finally got that mounted. Went with uh, did have a double mount with just the C8, and then the Solar Max uh, Coronado Solar Max double stack solar scope. But uh, finally got it all on a 19-inch rail for the Lost Mandy rail, and. Uh, Got a, a QHY pole master. If you don't have one, I would suggest you get one because they really work great for polar aligning. And uh, there's the uh, StarSense camera. Again, we have a C8 in the center, and then the uh, a dual stacked uh, Coronado Solar Max with an upgraded uh, focuser uh, with a stepper motor uh, for some remote focusing still have uh, to come out and adjust the etalons though to get it uh, to get it done so I'm going to give you a little demonstration here and how everything works let me show you at the floor here let me uh, pull this section out and we'll set it to the side there we go and now I'm gonna see if I can roll this whole thing backwards and uh, we'll just uh, give it a little spin here push it all back right off the scope there we go and on the sides here I put an industrial drawer slide and of course the whole thing is on the shed is on rollers but um, on a platform 
uh, lag bolted down, as you can see there. Um, but uh, I wish there was they had more than a five foot industrial drawer slide. I would have gone with something to uh, push this back a little further because uh, this is the uh, southern sky and uh, unfortunately since it's so close I was thinking with that hill there some of my sky may not be available anyway but uh, I was uh, that was an incorrect assumption because it does tend to uh, block off part of my southern sky so I may have to reorientate my shed here sometime in the future so let me back out a little more here all right, so let's uh, go ahead and you can see I just, uh, with it rolled back, I uh, got clearance there. And uh, we have clearance on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and uh, close this up. Get that out of our way. There we go. And we'll close this shed here. And we'll give it a lock so no wind will crash it. So uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Here's the view over the house. You can see Polaris there, uh, just over the house. I'm uh, facing kind of cattywampus to the house because this would actually be what I thought was north, but uh, Polaris actually comes to center house, so I'm kind of the house is kind of facing, I guess, northwest, a little bit northwest. So it caused me to do a little bit of a a shimmy on the uh, on the pier as far as. Um, I've got these set pretty far over as far as um, polar aligning the actual mount for the Ectoria mount. So let me go ahead and turn on the power to this and we'll let you hear how this works and how it slews using, uh, I've got the Wi-Fi module in so we're going to do it uh, high tech way here with a mobile phone. So let me uh, go ahead and uh, since that's turned on now, let's make sure we've got Wi-Fi turned on. Should be good there. And we're going to do it with Sky Portal, which is a Celestron app. Let me see if I can get it where you guys might see what's going on here. So we'll go ahead and click on Sky Portal. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, we'll wait for just a second for that to come on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect. And the last time I closed this up... Uh, it was, was going to give me a second to connect here. Let me make sure I got my uh, Wi-Fi on. Just give me a second here. Make sure I'm connected to. Let's see if I can pick up my module here. And uh, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and get that connected, and I'll be right back. Connected now. Let me go ahead and. Uh, Hit, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and hit settings and uh, if I hit settings we'll go up to telescope and I want to always start this for me I always like to start it and it says move to switch positions these actually have uh, swim li limit switches as well as home switches so you can actually set your home position all that if you have an observatory it needs to for the mount needs to be moved to a certain p position before you uh, close your um, if you have an overhead uh, roll-off roof. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and move it to the switch position here. And you can hear it making a few adjustments here. And uh, as you can see, it's currently set, I don't know if you can see it or not, on the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the sun. And then I'm going to hit, let's see, go here. And then I'm going to, well, that makes it very difficult with the, the sun being out today for you to see what's going on but uh, we're going to go ahead and hit sun and I'm going to hit go to and then it says of course do you want to go to the sun it's very dangerous but of course we're going to go ahead and do it and we're going to hit that and now we're we're slowing so as you can see we're all together with all three scopes and uh, I had to put those counterweights all the way at the bottom I got it balanced out with what's on there but if I get any type of a big full frame camera I'm going to be out of balance so I'm probably going to need to buy another counterweight and move those up but as you can hear this mounts really solid it's got a 75 pound ratio and uh, it sounds really good it doesn't bog down at all all right so there we are it says it's pointed at the sun and since the sun's right up there behind that cloud I have to assume that that is right on all right so let's go ahead and move this around
just a little bit to, so you can hear let me go to a different part of the sky here you can hear this uh, this motor slowing let me just pinch that a uh, little wider field of view uh, let's see here let's go to Capella there's Capella and then we're going to hit go to and here we go I'll back up a little bit here and Capella is pretty much at zenith right now so let me see if I can find something a little more at the um, near the horizon let's see here near Dubai let's see if I can get it to go to that Go to there we go. Yep. Looks like Dubai's not too much further further from it. I'm trying to do everything with one hand. Excuse me while I shrink this down a little bit. There we go. Now we can see what's going on a little better. Alright, there's Sirius. Click on that one. Sirius and go to. And as you can hear these motors, I mean, it's really strong and uh, pretty impressed with this mount overall. And uh, I went with the Lost Mandy DV plates so that any time, so I could accept any kind of scope with any kind of rail, well, not any kind, but at least your D or V plates. So. There we go, we're pointed up there with Dubai, which is in the north, so that makes sense. And uh, anyway, I wanted to uh, just uh, give a demonstration and show how this observatory is, uh, rollaway shed is set up. This is my second rollaway shed. Uh, so uh, again, a mistake I made was thinking that, uh, if you can tell, that the, this shed would have been a little further back and I would have been able to pick up everything but pretty much in this area here but unfortunately since it's not back another foot or two um, it cuts off a little bit of my southern sky so the good news I'm clear in the east and I'm relatively clear in the west so and the north of course is good to go so anyway that's the uh, the shed and uh, the uh, rollaway observatory number two if you will for the event horizon observatory so uh, Hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I'm going to get busy with some of these cables and get this cable management going. So um, anyway, if you haven't joined the channel, please do so. Take care. Bye-bye.